Hello, everybody, and welcome to Professor P's podcast. I'm Natasha Palumbo, aka Professor P, and I am known for evoking the essence of spirituality by bringing the energetic fire, activating the mind, and speaking the truth. I am so honored that you are here with us today. I thank you for joining us. This podcast is focused on entrepreneurship empowerment, and energetics. You're going to find a wealth of information inside, guest speakers, and the elixir, the dose of energetic power. So let us join in to today's podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Professor P's podcast. Hey, listen, this is the second episode, but I want to thank you for all the mad love that I got on the first episode. If you didn't check it out yet, make sure you go over there and take a listen to it. This episode today is going to be focused on the power of your words in thought, speech, and writing mastery. Do you know that words are singularly the most powerful force available to humanity? They are. They are the most powerful thing that exists, period. Listen, God spoke and thus was the world, thus was creation, thus was light. You understand? We can choose to use our words as a force of good or evil, really, as constructive encouragement or destructive despair. Words are energy and have power and ability to help or also hinder. See, the choice is up to you. The choice is up to you what you're going to do with your words. So let me go into thought first, because words begin in our mind. We think them, we speak them, we write them. Listen, how many of you have had some stinking thinking? Let's just go there. How? Uh, let me see. Let me see your hands. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm raising my hand, okay, because it's me. It's me who had the stinking thinking. So the words are dancing around in my head and they've not been so good, right? They've not been so good. Listen, these thoughts in your mind will crystallize into form. According to some studies, we have a thought process of about 60 to 80,000 thoughts per day. And I think I probably think three to four times that much. Anybody else have a really, really fast mind? These studies indicate that 80% of those thoughts are negative. That's stinking thinking. Listen, I need you to guard your thoughts in your mind. I need you to guard your thoughts in your mind and your heart because your heart and your mind are tied together. A lot of times, some thoughts are just like clouds. They need to just pass on by, just pass on by. Stop taking them captive and being like, ooh, I love you and I want to sit with this negative thought and just soak in the misery. Don't do that. Get out of the misery. Stop soaking in the misery. Stop feeding that demon of depression. Change those thought patterns. Begin to have a more positive outlook. If you ever want to know how you think inside, go outside one day to a park and just begin to write down the way you see things. Do you see it in a positive aspect or a negative aspect? Write it all on a list and go back and circle the words that are negative. Go back and circle the words that are positive. Figure out and see how you're thinking inside. A lot of you already know how you're thinking inside. A pursuit to mastery is evolution and growth over a lifetime. It is a daily intentional act to feed yourself goodness in your mind. This is why it's important to read good things, watch good things, listen to good things like this podcast right here, right here, right here. Listen, this plug for the podcast. It is important to feed your mind good things so that these thoughts that come through can be more than 80% negative. I have worked to definitely be now the 20% negative thoughts sometimes, and I'm hoping and working to have less, but we are in the knowledge of good and evil and nobody is exempt of both positive and negative. What you want to do is feed into your spirit and to your mind and enhance the positivity and that positive energy around you. And that begins with your thought process. So intentionally, daily, I want you to begin to practice 
positive affirmation thoughts. And I'm going to talk about that at the end before I close you out. But let's talk about this spoken word, because again, that is the most powerful. The spoken word is, well, they're all powerful. Thought, speech, writing, I'm going to bring them all together. But there is such great power in speaking word because it's another level of energy. It's another frequency. Listen, God spoke and created the world. Our world was created by word. God said, let there be light. And there was light. So our words today, still right now, are just as powerful. They are filled with so much magic and power. Remember, we shall be justified by our words and also condemned by them. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. We have the power to change an unhappy condition by waving our word over it. Then where there is sorrow, joy appears. Where there is sickness, health appears. Where there is lack, plenty appears. Power moves, but is never moved. Pay attention. Because I know this life can get chaotic and I know you can think, but I'm trying to think good and I'm trying to speak, but it's just crazy out there. Listen though, power moves, but is never moved. When you stand calm and serene, feeling content and happy, when appearances, say that again, when appearances are against you, that is when you have reached mastery. Then you have the power to rebuke the winds and the waves to control conditions. Your word transmutes apparent failure into success. I'm going to say it again. Your words transmutes apparent failure into success because you have waved your words like a wand over and you have spoke life. You took sorrow and turned it into joy. You took sickness and turned it into healing. Words are the keys to your inheritance. I'm going to say that again. Words are the keys to your inheritance. And there's a way to approach every day with powerful words. Remember, powerful people ask powerful questions. They speak powerfully and they also speak with kindness. Kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. Kindness in giving creates love. I want you to give freely your positive words to yourself, to this world, because words are singly the most powerful force that is available to humanity. I need you to begin to speak life, to speak it over yourself every day. Words are eternal. This is why I cannot stress enough to write your story. Get it on paper. You are again activating another level of energy and power with your written word. So we have a power with our thoughts. We have a power with our speech. We have a power when we write. I need you to activate all three powers, baby. I am now a five-time published author. I will probably write 28 books. 28 is my number. It's my birthday number. I'll probably write 28 books in my lifetime. Listen to this. My voice can be heard in my books. See how powerful that is? My words are being read by thousands of people, which will move to millions of people one day. And those words are running through their mind. Catch me. Activating them, empowering them. And guess what is happening? Guess what's happening? Are you ready? Get ready. Their thoughts are being sparked and their mind is ignited. From the power of my written words, their thoughts will crystallize into form. Remember, I told you in the last episode that the vision is always for other people. This is why I need you to write. Write your story. There is no shame in anything that has happened to us in the land of the living. Do you understand me? There is no shame. Write your story. Nonfiction or fiction, write it. 
And if you want help, you can come see me. I have a course right now on the Professor Palumbo School that teaches you how to write and publish your book. You can go in my link and you can find it and check it out. Write for you. Write for your descendants, for other people. Write in the power of life and live forevermore. Words are eternal. I will never forget reading my first book and realizing that. I feel like I'm going to cry. It was a feeling I had never experienced. I had become eternal in my writings alone. Listen, I had become eternal in my writings alone, yet my own eternal spirit, which will dwell forevermore, never ending, everlasting, always and forever. I am confident in that. I am confident in that. And I encourage you in that. But as I am in the land of the living, I will write. That is what's powerful, my friends, is that your writing is eternal. Every day, I want you to try to write a little something to bring this all back around and give you something to think about because I'm Professor P and that's what I do. And to give you something to do, here comes your homework. If you don't have a pen out, make sure you come back with a pen and listen to this episode again and write this down. Here is your homework, everyone. You're going to write positive affirmations for yourself in several areas. I want you to write in your personal life, what you personally want to see in your life, positive affirmations. I want you to write for success and success is not a secret. It's a system. And I'm coming back with an episode to talk about that. I want you to write affirmations of success, prosperity, love, health, wellness, and the list continues on and on. I want you to set and write a list of at least five different categories, five different categories, affirmations, begin to think in your mind, have that thought process of positivity, what you desire. And if those little gremlins of negative thinking, try to stinking thinking, try to pop up, I'm going to need you to let them float away the cloud that they are and allow clarity mm, to come through and write, write on a paper, those affirmations, write them out, five categories, five sentences, and put them up where you can see them every day. And I want you to begin to speak that life over yourself every day. See, you are reprogramming your mind. You are reconditioning your your cells in your body, everything can be made new. Again, that's the word. The word is the most powerful thing that exists in humanity. The most powerful force of energy, the word. Speak life and speak love over yourself daily. And then I encourage you to set with and meditate on how you can begin to write your story. We need your story. Remember, the vision is always for other people. And words are eternal. I need you to set and become all that God has called you to be. Through your thought that crystallize into form, through your words that speak power and create form, and through your writings that have the power to activate, to set free, to empower, to encourage, to deliver yourself and a sea of others. Words, my friend, are eternal and the power resides within our thought, our voice, and our hand. I leave you with this daily practice, evolution, and growth over a lifetime is the pursuit to mastery. Live in your power. Think powerfully. Speak powerfully. Write powerfully. You are now activated. Thanks everyone for listening today. I hope you received a lot out of that episode and are feeling energized and ready for whatever lies ahead. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it out, 
thank you in advance for doing so. Please also connect with me on social media, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Natasha M. Palumbo. And until next time, be encouraged, be empowered, and as always, be well.